Today I'm gonna show you- Oh, wait, no, excuse me. I'm gonna do it today, okay? Okay. So today I'm gonna show you how you can use the surface tracker to put a video on your t-shirt. And I'm gonna show you how to do it in a color page and a fusion page. Here we go. And first in the fusion page. But before we go to the fusion page, let's talk about the length of the clips. So in the edit page, this is my main clip and this is the clip I want on my t-shirt, right? And so this one is a lot shorter. And I want this clip to appear on my t-shirt here, around halfway the bottom clip. So you can just put it there and then do the rest of the tutorial and it will work. But the problem is that if you do it like this, when you start tracking, Resolve will track everything, the whole bottom clip from beginning to end. And it will take super long and your computer might also struggle. So what I always do is, I first position the top clip and then I cut the bottom clip to the same length of the top clip, see? And don't worry, you won't see that cut after we're finished. And then just select the top clip and the bottom one, just the video, not the audio, right click and create a fusion clip. And then make sure that the playhead is on that fusion clip and go to the fusion page. And now you'll see two media in nodes. Media in one is the bottom clip. So just connect that one like this to the media out node and then the media in two node is the clip we want on the t-shirt. Just delete everything else and put the media in two node somewhere for later. Then select the media in one node, hit shift plus spacebar and add the surface tracker. Then just draw a box over the area you want to track. Then go to mesh here and a mesh will automatically be created. And usually Resolve does a pretty good job, but if you don't get the result you want, you can always come back here and tweak the amount of tracking points or create a uniform grid. Just play around with it, you know? Okay, and then go to track, hit track forward and reverse. And once Resolve is done with the tracking, go to result, hit go to reference here, connect the media in to node to the surface tracker, and then just drag the corners to change the perspective or to resize it or drag the clip to reposition it. And if you want that circular cutout, select the media in two node, add an ellipse shape by hitting this icon here, see? I don't know why this boundary shape here is a lot bigger than the actual cutouts, but yeah, I don't know, it works, whatever. And then finally, to blend the clip a bit better with the texture of my t-shirt in this case, Select the surface tracker, go to composite mode and just pick one you like. See, they all do different things. And of course, you can also lower the opacity to blend it even better. And now let me show you how to do it in the color page. And it's the easiest thing in the world. But first, of course, again, cut the clip where you want the video to appear on your t-shirt. So I want it from here to here. That's where I cut the clip. Then go to the color page go to the effects library and add the surface tracker. Again, draw a box on the surface you want to track, then go to mesh. Again, automatically a mesh will be created. Go to track and hit track forward and reverse. Then find the clip you want to use in your media pool or drop it in the media pool from your desktop and then drag it onto the node area and connect it like this to the surface tracker. And then again, go to result, overlay placement and hit go to reference. And just like before, you can resize and reposition it. And if you want to cut out a circle, just add a node here in between these two nodes, create a circular power window, connect it like this and you can resize it. And that's it. So just try it out because I'm pretty sure that you can come up with something way cooler and more creative than this guy. Yeah. Salut and tot de volgende.